You've all been, um, well, you're all being sent up to Floria 4, as we've established last session. And I believe we're just taking this session as a little, a little light uh, in between thing to let you all get to know each other better. Especially after uh, Anya's little stunt. Oh, God. <laughs> stunt. So yeah, you were all transferred by Inquisitorial ship to Vulpis. From there, you've caught a chartered vessel heading towards Floria and the cathedral. It is packed with pilgrims. Uh, I don't know what kind of quarters you guys would have gotten for yourselves, considering I am assuming you're acting undercover. Is there a prison cell? Uh, there is a brig. Do you guys want to throw Anya in there, or...? I assume I was in there already. Well, no, they've already got the detonator for your collar. Can I pay? Can I bribe someone to get a better room? Yes, I mean, well, first of all, you guys, what? Well, yeah, you you got kind of standard, um, like a standard suite for yourselves, but you're all sharing a room. We can't exactly have you just blending in with the masses of pilgrims sleeping all over the place, like the corridors and the cargo holds. What we're like the slums can't sleep with us. Yeah, well, you're in a starship, so so tempted to insult a child right now. <laughs> Cho will be keeping quietly to herself and <laughs> trying not to cause problems. She doesn't particularly want to accidentally cause any sort of horrifying incident involving demons because or she her. is actually quite concerned about that. You know, that's really not high on her list of things she wishes to do. Yeah, also, how many hours did it take for us to fix our hair after they afro it? Like three. Yeah. I'll just point out, that, like, a few days have passed by this point oh, where okay. we pick up the story. It's been like four or five days. Yeah, Shaw will have just been quietly licking her wounds. Well, actually, and we're just hang on, let me figure it out. Da, 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 da. It's actually been about a week. Okay. And cool. we just had that time traveling, basically. Yeah. And we can say yeah. our stats and fate points are fully restored. I think we did that at the end of the last session. But yep. Yeah. yeah, that's all fine. So anything you guys would like to do while you're in transit? Right. Are we like? Well, the question is, where are we? In deep space. Yes, I'm <laughs> on the ship. Are we in like a common room? You, you, you're in your suite. There's like a guest, you know, there's like a berth of guest pods. Guest pods? Sorry, guest rooms, which are for like the middle class. Middle class. Oh. Uh, you're about. Uh, you're you're about a midships like, above the cargo holds by a fair few decks, and the cargo holds are all stuffed with pilgrims and more than a few grocks and animals and, you know, foodstuffs. Uh, uh, Jazz, mm -hmm. do you wish me to continue translating your book during this time? Shara is willing to accept help with translating the book, yes, because she wants to learn how to read this particular book. I just thought if I do a, if I do a quick roll, that should see how, how it should be a quick thing to do before we get into any character stuff. I assume there's no modifier for this, am I right, Lucas? Nope. Straight, straight well, intelligence is the one hmm. we did last time. Which book is it? It's my Pikey um, Pike. navigator book. Right, you stole a navigator book. Um, are you going to try to find help from the actual navigator or just on your own? We're going to we're gonna start off with, with on our own because I don't necessarily... Well, yeah, we'll stick with on our own because I did steal it. Hmm. So... Yeah. Okay, valid. And Shaw um, being ship I... intelligent is probably, a, you know, it's probably aware that navigators are normally quite private people. Mm. So she's not going to be like, by the way, I nicked this from your third cousin. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, right. it would be a straight-up uh, intelligence. Uh, so I'm not clicking on the, the speak language option. I'm just going for the intelligence one, right? Well, it doesn't matter. It's all the same. Uh, it's the same stat, yeah. You have the highest yeah, stat yeah. of anyone in the group. Oh my god, you've actually pulled it off with a 50-50% chance, barely. Yeah. Having said that, it's uh, my second roll, so literally I failed one and passed one on intelligence, mm -hmm. so that's that's maintaining the 50%. So, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, one sec. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Uh, this journal is obviously due to your work as a copyist yourself. Yes. You can kind of tell that actually a good chunk of this journal has been copied from somewhere else. Okay. And it's referencing um, sort of a meeting of navigators, um, not like of this clan, mm -hmm. but uh, specifically because uh, this clan was all sort of, they kind of were the 
favored navigator house to work alongside this rogue trader. Okay. Uh, the rogue trader is the one who actually discovered the case in sector. Okay. So they were working alongside a rogue trader. So I'm just noting this in my notebook. Mm-hmm. And um, and he was the one who charted most of this sector. Yes. Uh, I'm just actually finding my notes. Here we go. Right. Uh, the sector is in the galactic northeast. Uh, it was discovered. The name of this rogue trader is, I don't know how to pronounce this. Give me a second. Cladius Fivrius Haran. I'm just going to post that into the Roll20 chat. Yeah, uh, thanks for that. Hey, Lucas, can I ask a little question? Mm-hmm. How come rogue traders, um, their um, uh, license, uh, wrong word, but license, is transferred down bloodlines? Yes. How, why, as opposed to, like, anywhere else? Because like, Inquisitors don't do that. Indeed. Well, then again, Inquisitor, the word Inquisitor, am I correct, is not technically an official title? Because there's no banks in the Inquisition. There's just, there, there you are, are, Inquisi- you there are Inquisitors. Are. There are, it's just not super formal. It's the word like Lord you know, is not yeah. technically real, is it? Yes, uh, it is. Lord Inquisitor, it's just that you are just, no, you just is, have to have it, right? No, that's legit. Inquisitor Lords run the uh, conclaves. They're basically like the oversight committee. Okay. So if you get promoted to Inquisitor, you answer to an Inquisitor Lord. Each of the Ordos has an Inquisitor Lord assigned to each sector or each section of space that they're investigating. And you know. Oh, okay. I thought it was. I thought well, it was an unofficial that they took if they were that big within a sector. Okay. Yeah, so That's did fair. I actually. I'm sure I read that. Somewhere. Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's basically an an Inquisitor. But it, it's because it. The, the organization's got so much bureaucracy and so much stuff going on, it's hard to pin it all down. Roughly speaking, Inquisitor Lords are the ones with the most clout. Uh, they tend to be the ones in charge of crusades or attached to the highest level of command staff. Or oldest as well. Mm. Depending. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there is. It goes like the lowest rank, well, you're an acolyte, you're not even an actual Inquisitor. The lowest sort of inquisitorial rank is Interrogator. And you do Are answer a- to an in, you answer to a inquisitor as an interrogator. Inquisitors answer to you know multiple levels depending on their ordo. Okay. Are we actually all as a group actually have been assigned to an inquisitor in person? Because I know we were all hired by different inquisitors. No, you were all been assigned to interrogator. You you were acting under interrogator Johnson, and you fucked that up. Except for me, I was working under the chap before, wasn't I? Yes, you are. Uh, you're actually yeah. functioning under uh, interrogator Fofris. Yes. Okay, so acolytes mm-hmm. don't have strictly work have to work for inquisitors themselves. No. Oh, okay. With the with with the amount of acolytes uh, the occasional demon hunter goes through, they can't. Hmm. Okay. But li- li- literally, you think your survival chances are bad? Try signing up with the Ordo Malleus. Oh dear God. It's like Kellen is bad. Well, to be fair, which well, we aren't actually assigned to one of the three in gen, uh, one of them in general, are we? We just we just acolytes of Inquisition as a broad term. Because you're still technically trainees, you, none of you have been claimed by one of the Grand Ordos yet. Yeah, and which is so, assume why we're doing these missions, these these side ones to gain us favour with each of them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And also, you don't know which Ordos are kind of in control. You know the three main orders, but that's it. Okay. Because well, it should be bad enough to, while well, there to at least have a basic idea. And also, I imagine from just like scenes like this where you talk amongst the yourselves. Makes sense. So, anyway. Is there anything else I should write down in the notebooks? The last thing I have is Shah's translated journal is taken in part from navigators and notes copied elsewhere. The navigators are working alongside a road Terrigan. He was the one who charted most of this sector. For, this is the Galactic Northeast, and road trader is called Cladius Favorus Harren. Is there anything else I should note down? Uh, yes. Uh, this sector has been settled before. Okay. Th- this is sort of like a rediscovered sector, apparently. Like, uh, Harren found mention of this sector whilst perusing the library of this navigator house and decided to set out and find it again. Okay. What, life in the Dark Ages? You don't know. No, I know, I'm just stabbing it. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> awesome. You, you, you just know that something was in this sector and Harren set out to sort of go, oh, look, there's, you know, this sector was mentioned, obviously must be important, and they settled it now. And that's kind of what you've been able to piece together. Awesome. 
Right, that's saved into the notebook if anyone wants to use it at any point. Okay, what else are you all up to? Um, I know what Rose would do. Is there a bar? There are several throughout this ship. Uh, someone go into a name generator and give me a name for this. What, for what, a random bar generator? No, the ship. Oh. Because I don't think we've named it. Or if we did, I've forgotten. I don't think we did name it. Okay, then someone can work on that. In the meantime, yes, Rosie, you can find several bars. What are you after? I'd just um, try to steal a couple of bottles of wine. Although first, I'd just put an amount of coin on top of the bar out of sight, then try to take it. Okay. As if, as if, if I fuck up, I can go, well, I paid for it. I was just testing my skills. Sure. That's... So I am technically gone. The money is over there, out of my reach. <laughs> Are, you have are, been paid for this. Okay, I've so taken it myself. What kind of bar are you looking for? Uh, something that had like, uh, well, middle class. Okay, you, you go because amongst, that's the area we're in. I am. You you look for your localish bar, which is actually run by the crew. Uh, there's none in the cargo holds or anywhere down there because it's all full of pilgrims and they're zealous little bastards. Okay, but no, yeah, you find like a small canteen that's sort of caters to guests and the crew, you know, hands out Anything that sells or... wine. <laughs> well, of any kind. As you can imagine, al alcohol on the ship is not exactly a uh, yeah, widely fair. available thing, except for, like, you know, the captain from his own personal stocks, but the crew have a few, you know, for, for just from scuttlebutt and knowledge, okay. you, you always know the servants have something stashed, smuggled away, so you're going to okay. need to uh, do some digging to find where you can find uh, a black market here, essentially, on the ship. <laughs> Is there nothing behind the bar itself, like some old crap that they have in a bar? Okay, look, there is no actual... Like, to, to, uh, it's they a canteen. It. It's a canteen. It's not a bar. Ah, uh, okay. To find the illegal bar, you have to look for it. <laughs> okay. Can I try that? Yes. Well, how do you want to try it? I do have common law underworld, if that actually counts, for trying to find things. <laughs> that actually could, yeah. That actually, I'll let you... <laughs> sure, I'll let you do that. Roll your common law underwear as you try to, as you rack your brains back from your training in the underhive. Ah! Lucas, I think we've decided on a spaceship now. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. What did you call it? <laughs> BS death. I'm sorry, the what? The BS death. The, the bullshit chat. death. Yes. Oh. First name generator. <laughs> <laughs> my, my name generator came up with Big Boy and BS Death. Okay, 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 hang on, hang on. In that case, it's known as the Sacrifice of Bea Sanctifica. I like that. Short, <laughs> and it's shortened to the BS Death. BS Death, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. I assume I failed. Uh, can yeah. I just take two? Can I try still two bottles of anything that it looks at least moderately drinkable? Water. <laughs> Is there anything better? No, the, they're literally running rations for you guys. Uh, now, if you okay, want, I just now, guess now, hey, guess what? what? Maybe you want to go to someone who's actually been on a starship before and ask for them to help you out. There was a reason I was okay. Hang on, can I? Okay, I get a glass. Okay, I get a bottle of water to try to get a glass of wine, a bottle of wine, and go and see Shah anyway. Okay, if you want to try to sneak into like the captain's area, God, no, then... no, no, Shah is no, just most isn't that stupid. Or <laughs> or you can try speaking to people. Like, again, you know, you try to use your common law underworld, like, you know, well, this is how smugglers operate, and then you realize planet, ship, kind of a different deal. No, 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 no. I think actually, yeah, I see it's working. Can I get a, just a bottle of water? Okay, sure. You, you have a bottle of water. I go, just, I try to find Shah on the ship. Shah's just in a room quietly with her cat. Yeah, your cat is not with you on this mission. I pointed this out. Oh, I didn't realize the cat hadn't come with us. This saddens sharp. Okay, she's missing her cat then. She's basically doing what I've done for it and gone, I miss Hugo. Only oh, no, she's going, I miss the dog. You, you named it. <laughs> Shut up, my cat is called Hugo. Um, 
if I remember, we were both well. You were a bit miffed at me. I was a little miffed at you. We both basically just punched one another. Well, I punched. There was you. there was miffedness in the air. Yes, and Shara yes. is now trying to keep out of everyone's way because presumably she's still quite sore. And can I, can I, can I, I, I say, can I can I clarify? If I'm still here at this time after translating the book, or am I gone at this stage? Okay, I'm just unless you tell me otherwise, you're all chilling in your room. Fair enough. So I would have already translated and left at this stage. Fine. Yes. Cadis is just doing her warm ups in that case. Cadis is doing push ups on the floor and behind the couch. Uh, Shah is sitting on the couch with Sylvia reading the book. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what Anya's up to. Anya's just staying in a corner reading a book or trying to sleep or something. Okay. I, I, I knock on Shah's door if the, she has a door. Or no, it, no, you're. Bunks. It's, okay, there, there's like a sleeping area with the bunks, there's a common area. Okay. Oh, we all in the same up. room. Yes, you, slowly. Yeah. You all have an apartment. You all have an apartment. Okay. <laughs> you knock slowly... on your own door. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I walk up to her. Just, just kind of casually, recoils. Just casually, just just a bit, just being slow with it, and just I just reach out and give and just offer you the bottle and just go. <laughs> just I just offer it to, to you. Charles looks at it like it's gonna bite her. Um. <laughs> It's just like just water. Like, like, can I help you? Like, I'm, I'm fine. Like, what? <laughs> I didn't do anything. No, you didn't. But just, we're not going to get survive very long unless we can at least like not want to punch each other on sight. So, despite what happened, I. Apologize for losing my temper and offer you the gla- the bottle again. Basically, for for punching you, and I offer you the glass, even though I know I was justified. I'm still just about <laughs> biting my tongue to apologize anyway. Just quickly, going to point out that this is a really touching scene. You are essentially just offering her, like you know, a 25 ml bottle of Evian water. <laughs> yes, I know, <laughs> but it's the gesture. And just is like, I live on a ship. I know exactly what I can get, and. Uh, um, She's like fucking land noobs. Um, no, she does not say <laughs> such things. She kind of, she quietly thinks you're a noob at starships. Um, but this will no, she she this she appreciates up. what you're trying to do. I do. <laughs> and go. It, you realise that what happened was an accident, right? <laughs> I assume so. And yes, that may just be water, but I'm kind of not able to find what I need. Would you like to work together to find something better? I can make I've... a suggestion. <laughs> She's not willing currently. I'm not really it's... willing to get myself into shit currently, but I can send you in the right direction for where you might reasonably find something more palatable. Insert ship knowledge here. <laughs> Trying to uh, extend an olive badge and then working together. That's the best you're going to get, it. <laughs> oh, so, okay. Shaw doesn't see. know how to olive branch. She's trying to. I just, I just nod just awkwardly, like, sure. I'll, 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 if I get some, I'll save some for it. Now, Where do I go? <laughs> now, interestingly, Jazz, which one do you think it would be? Speak, would we use your ship dialect skill to represent life aboard a ship or your trade merchant? Um. Also, what now, the f- I'm sorry, what the fuck? You had speak language such as strength. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's called wow. intimidation. <laughs> um, <laughs> this, this, this explains so much. <laughs> Char is good at things. <laughs> that's how you summon the warp. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Wait. Is that how speak for you in the medium? Apache. <laughs> <laughs> How do you talk to people by showing my muscles? <laughs> I just pose. Like <laughs> hey, disapproval level rises. <laughs> like I guess the language of strength. Um, but right on the basis of um the fact that Shaw previously would have yeah, she would have traded shit and run a little bit of a black market thing to get what she wanted. I'm going to go with Trade Merchant, even though it's actually the lower of the two skills. Okay. Oh, God. But she would suggest for using, like, she would imply that, you know, knowing what to say would be a good way to get out of trouble 
should your attempts at bartering not work out so well. So what would you like me to roll in terms of modifier? I literally just asked you that. Modifier well, I'm going to roll my... Well, she just chose and then okay. asked where she put it else. Okay, no modifier. No modifier. Boop. Oh, oh. shit. I like, you have a rough idea where, but you obviously wouldn't, you know, you, you kind of suggest if you go, like, looking around more in sort of, like, side alleys, anything that looks like a disused room. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't my kind of ship. I was born, I lived on a warship, but, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, little shrines here every, you know, at every junction. Yeah, this ship is much more religious than my ship was. <laughs> so you do, you do casually suggest maybe if you go to, like, the central cathedral section of the ship you might find some wine in which case then yeah definitely speak language <laughs> in fact no like sure we'll, we'll bite her tongue actually as she attempts to suggest try going to you know the central to actually steal holy wine or some shit <laughs> so, actually no this is a bad idea um <laughs> I, I, that is a bad idea this is a very bad idea and i don't actually want to get people in trouble more um and she too is going to try and... getting Rosa into trouble. <laughs> she she doesn't like Rosa, but there's a limit to how much shit she's willing to get the party into at this point. Well, especially yeah. bearing in mind she's trying very hard to bite her tongue and actually yeah, be nice. Exactly. To she appreciates what Rosa is trying to do, so she's going to try and do the same, rather than being like, "Yeah, you should go nick shit from the cathedral. <laughs> that will go down well." She's actually <laughs> going to offer if Rosa is willing to have her along um, to. Try and try and retrieve some wine with her, because Char is of the mind that she might have a couple of abilities that might get kind of useful <laughs> for stealing some shit discreetly in places oh. where shit should not be stolen. Ben, yes, I'm having flashbacks to only war. I know. <laughs> Moza comes at you and just goes, "Well, I have the physical experience. You have your abilities. Let's see how we can do, eh?" Cadus pipes up with, Agreed. I'm all yeah. for wine, because I'm assuming I can hear you, because we're all in the same room. Yes. Yeah, you're just behind the couch. We're having this conversation like three foot from you. Um, yeah, so Cadus pipes up and says that. <laughs> yeah, what did you K say? Cadus's head just appears suddenly behind Shah, like startling Rosa a little bit. With a grin. <laughs> Shakes my head and goes, D uh, okay, we'll get you some wine too. Thank you. Sylvia? Oh, yeah, no, no. Sylvia is, is tempted to wait till he gets out of the room and then pull out a private alcohol thing and just <laughs> down it. <there. laughs> I like the idea oh, she has a hip flask. Yeah. <laughs> just, just with realize, just, just remembers that I've already given, just, I've already given uh, Cadiz an entire bottle of the finest brandy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do just go, well, I did kind of give, do you remember I did give you this? Fine. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's she, mutter, she mutters something quietly to herself that you might not hear unless you what, listen, but that's it. Yeah, okay. And then starts moving off, gesturing to Jazz to follow. Yep, Jazz. I would like to try and hear quietly. Wait, what? She, what? I would like to try and hear whatever you muttered under your breath. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, hang on. Well, did you say it in low Gothic or high Gothic? <laughs> um, actually, yeah. You don't know what language I spoke in. Um, I will, because I speak both. <laughs> and I'm right. <laughs> oh, God, uh, no, excuse God, me, I could both. be a dick and pick in hive dialects just to be a dick. That's but, true. No, I'll go in low gothic because it might be, it, it could potentially be cuter to do that. Okay, uh, perception. <laughs> but my low gothic is, my low gothic is 50, my perception is 30. <laughs> Wait, so I'm just doing strip perception, yeah? Yes. Four. Oh, crap. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Shaw, roll. Why? Why? Well, are you even, she doesn't are care. You even, oh, thank Shaw God. doesn't care really what you're saying, but she'll keep an ear out because it's kind of in her interest to not die um, and yeah, therefore listen to things. I've probably got exactly, exactly the same result for two for two. Rounds. I'm typing this because no, actually you'll record this, don't you? No, yeah. <laughs> Say it out loud, boy. It's fine. Charlotte wasn't really paying that much attention. She yeah. does not care that much. As as she turns her back, she just goes, you're lucky, you're cute, and then starts walking off. <laughs> oh, God, the shipping has started. Yes! He and, has a mild look of confusion, but plays like she did not hear a thing. Sylvie is mildly intrigued. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, you, weren't, you weren't privy for the conversation I had <laughs> days ago, so you don't know what's coming. 
<laughs> Shaw doesn't hear anything because, well, one, she doesn't care, and two, Anya is snoring. <laughs> Damn it, yeah. Anya. Anya may not be asleep. She may just be purposely not listening to the conversation. Either way, she's snoring. <laughs> okay, oh, hang on. Where's roll deceive to pretend to be asleep? <laughs> <laughs> Please do a shit snore job. So, <laughs> oh, babe. Can yeah. I put you get glasses? On? That's a sixteen. You have to roll on the rob. And yeah, no, you're like I'm asleep. <laughs> We're occasionally like opening your eyes and looking at them. Yeah. Like, with one eye blatantly open. But if I may from asleep, they'll leave me alone. Yeah. I, I, have, I, I think it's been a tense couple of days travelling together. Okay, well, are we going to actually go steal some wine? <laughs> Apparently, yes. Wait, who is going on this mission? Because I thought it was just Sharon. Me, me and me and Char, yeah. yeah. It, 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 yeah. It's yeah. our yeah. bonding activity. Because Cadis will talk to Rose. Uh, not Rose, Anya. Sorry. While we're away. Yeah, while they're away. Okay, cool. Uh, in that case, we'll do Cadis and we'll do Cadis scene since we just had Rosa and Shaw. Can I roll to deceive again? You you <laughs> you failed so horribly. <laughs> also, she's the one with the finger on the trigger, so to speak. That's true. That's a good point. So those two have buggered off out the room, yeah. Yeah. Sylvia Cadis glances to Sylvie. Mm-hmm. Um, passes what to me? Sorry. She she just glances to you for a second before turning back to Anya, just pondering for a moment. I am now legitimately mm. pulling out my hip flask if I have one. Okay. Just uh, slowly sipping on a drink. Okay. <laughs> I'm How? You didn't have any. You didn't have any money to buy it either. Remember, actually, you I, I got you paid. Bought... Yeah, but you never actually specified you bought any. No, but I still had some of that leftover blue engine grade stuff. So you just drained that engine oh, somewhere on the stuck of the <laughs> <laughs> It's an acquired he's, taste. What he's pretty done, he's actually got the content of a third horse spleen. Oh, there were okay. a few going and around after that. the last mission. Exactly. <laughs> Tell you what, you you, you bought it off Jeff. Fair. <laughs> I'm going to offer it around to the two of them and see if they want it, just to troll. Um, uh, what's the name? <sighs> I don't know what I'm writing on blank. Steve, what's your character's name again? My line's gone. Rosa, that's it. Rosa. Rosa. Yeah, just to troll her. What? What? I'm now passing alcohol to everyone who's not in your party. Kedis is having a drink. Yes. Yeah. I enjoy trolling. Are you going to like still take a drink yeah. if she returns with alcohol and offers you it happily? Yes. Bitch. Don't pretend we do not She she will she will try to get if she discovers that she'll probably be a bit. Don't know why yet. Everyone roll me carouse. Anya's actually not drinking this because she doesn't want to. Fair roll enough. What? <laughs> roll carouse. She'll just, she'll just quietly refuse. Mm. Oh wait, should I get plus ten to that? Yep. Also, as a side note, I'd never heard that word. I don't before, know what this is. Playing dark heresy. I had no idea that was a thing. What is it? It's to drink. So okay. you don't get drunk? Oh, right. God. That's, oh, I'm, I'm doing well today. <laughs> you managed so three to. successful. Do you know, I've done more successful roles in this session than I've done over my entire first two episodes. <laughs> well done. What I'm fully expecting is you try and make a speech roll. You fail so bad the fucking ship explodes. I know. Oh, my God. You summon the warp, even though you're not a psyker. Like, oh, no, God, no. It's, it's like you actually spent the name of the greater demon. <laughs> oh no okay so yeah you're not drunk you 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 you, you speak some of this stuff I, you don't know what it is but it sound it tells a bit like you assume it's moonshine like yeah. jeff probably just makes some stuff on the side for himself when i eventually take over jeff when anya dies can i actually have a brewing skill for this <laughs> yes awesome awesome you'd probably just have a high carouse probably or a really really low one just being, yeah no no just you, you no, drunk no. on G. You'd have really horrible willpower, but you're just so drunk you don't care. Score. <laughs> like, legit really good courage. Speech. All right, what are you doing, Cadis? Uh, well, the the booze has distracted her, but she's, like, smiling and happy. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Sylvie. Yeah, that's all right. It's much appreciated. Mm-hmm. Um, ah, that's what I was going to do. Anya, she points at her. Anya's going to vaguely respond, but she's also, like, facing away from you, so she's going to ignore the weird face and the pointing. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, she's going to um, go and grab two of your guns. One's going to be your last pistol, and one is going to be your modified one, uh, last gun. The last gun. Yeah. And she is going to go... Are you sitting down? I'm, I'm trying to pretend to be asleep, so I assume I'm laying on the floor. Okay, so she's going to sit on the floor next to you, and then, you know, slap you awake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very convicted to pretending to being asleep. 
No can one's buying make, it. Can I make a deceive roll to see if I can make a convincing attempt at coming round? Well, no, because you failed your oh. deceive roll to pretend to be asleep. And if you were asleep, she would then punch you. Yeah, okay, valid. Also, also, <laughs> um, also there are, like, armchairs and stuff I was actually imagining as, like, the apartment from Friends. So I imagine you're just asleep in one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I assumed I was, like, just secluded myself in a corner. I may have dragged the chair over. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. I'll just sort of vaguely roll over and look at Caddis. She's looking at you very stern. You have a decision. Well, you have... Give me a second. <laughs> Takes another swig. I need to think of what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> well, I have to roll to give her a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's going to place one, the last gun to one side and the last pistol to the other side of her. And then she's going to cross her arms. So why did you do it? I know Johnson was a dick. Why did you do it? Because I saw a way out. A way out. Of this. Of everything. Of this fucking life. So you have no Jeff. idea what it's like to lose everything and then be treated like shit constantly by a man who's clearly given everything he's ever had in life. I thought maybe if I could get rid of him, I could have my life back. But no, now here I am. Yes, here you are. Your actions could have cost all of us our lives, not just yourself. It was very selfish of you. I get that it must be difficult losing a world, your home world. I can't even imagine, but trying to take everybody else's world along with yourself that's just not fair. If you want to go down, you do it by yourself. You don't drag all of us with you. But if you want to make a change, regain your life. You could make it work here. We could be a team, potentially. It is another way, and it's a difficult way. It's going to be shit. We're starting at the bottom. You can make a name for yourself. You could make a place for yourself. It will be different, but it will be something. And it's not going to be easy. And you're going to deal with a lot of shitheads like Johnson. But it's still an option. I know it's going to be quiet for a moment, partly because I need to consider what I want to reply with. That's fair. <laughs> and you're just going to look at you for a moment. Curtis, I didn't want anyone else to be hurt. It wasn't just him. It wasn't just me. He was pointing his gun at us, all of us. All of you are the only things I had at this point. And I couldn't, I didn't want to see him hurt any of you again. Yes, what I did was fucking stupid. I am sorry. I appreciate that. We all make mistakes, and it's difficult adjusting to this, all things considered. But I think we can make it work. But I need to know that you're not going to put all of us at risk like that again. Believe me, I won't. I promise. Uh, Cadis will reach out for the las modified las gun and pass it over to you. Thank you for being honest with me. It's a start. And is just going to nod quietly, and she won't actually pick up the last gun, but she'll acknowledge it. Or she'll put it beside you. Yeah. And she'll give you a big grin. Drink up. You should. And you're very tentative to the... Uh, bleh, that word, the... Fuck. <laughs> tentatively. That one. Tentatively <laughs> to take a small drink, and then sort of nod weakly. <laughs> and you're the only person fucking old enough to drink in this. <laughs> and the rage, the rage. Actually, I am. Um... <laughs> As well. Oh, you're uh, old. So am I. I'm 20. Depends what country you're in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 21, so it's, what, it's whatever country, as far as yeah, all those. Yeah. yeah, I'm also going to write something in my notebook, but I'm not going to say what, because my notebook is public and just sticking in my game notes. But That's fair. Sylvie's very subtly writing five words on a piece of paper. I ship that so hard. That's not the words, actually. <laughs> <laughs> And, and and Sylvie's up to something when it comes to ships anyway. So um, don't worry, not not with herself. So, uh, oh, so I'm guessing we're going to have to cancel the uh, Johnson's Angels campaign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> well, he can always do it himself. Okay, so we had that little nice character building moment. Both of you can take uh, 25 experience points. Yay! <laughs> i got to say, G, that was really well done. Oh, thank you. I tried. I know I'm dirt with words. <laughs> Just out of interest, was the last pistol so I could shoot myself? Because that was very um, Russian, if that was. <laughs> no, she was. it was going to be a choice of, depending on how honest you are, it would determine which gun you would start off with. Oh, fair. Yeah, I thought one of them was I'd get my rifle back, or I'd have the choice of going the easy way out. No, basically, oh, if you were just going to be Georgie shit and be like, I'm not telling fuck. you anything. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, hell. Hashtag no, fitting. If you were just I watch really dark films, right? <laughs> Georgie! 
I know. Hey, I know Doctor. <laughs> okay. okay. Meanwhile, while this yeah. heart while this heartwarming moment is taking on, cue the Pink Panther music with a. Uh, to be fair, we tried to have our own. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. <laughs> we tried to have our own somewhat, uh, somewhat nice moment. They want 25 experience points. <laughs> Can we have to play people with music? We not just get Ben to sing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I write the theme music, sing the theme music. <laughs> Fuck so. I am the theme music. <laughs> <laughs> the theme music is just like a cover of like some sort of heavy metal song which is all of just Georgie sneezes. Yeah, we oh my god. god. Okay, Shah, Rosa, what are you doing? Right, well, Shah having an okayish grasp of ships, as you know, she's lived on one, even though this one is not quite the same, obviously, being of a rather different function. Um she's able to, you know, muddle her way through to a reasonable location, namely, you know, the middle, the cathedrally bit that she's like, oh yeah, there's, there's some shit here because I deduce these things. Okay, like at, at the actual cathedral or like the general area where the cathedral is, the same level or higher, lower. Um, but let's roll the dice. Let's go for the actual cathedral at this point. Okay. Um, it's like this is how she ends up using another wound. All right, she's going to lead the way quite cautiously, and she's going to enlighten. Rosa, a little awkwardly, because she's not very good at the whole people thing. And she's still not really sure about Rosa, because she's like, oh, okay. So, and she's not really... Suti noble, to be fair. Yeah, she's not really okay with the noble thing. She's like, I, I, I am used to being kicked by people like you, and you did punch me. So If you said just... that, if you said that, she would, she would answer saying, well, I didn't actually choose to be born like this, in the same way that you did. Sure, just uncomfortable. She's not going to elaborate and open up quite that much just yet. That's just fair. Quite obviously uncomfortable. Um, basically, think me at Comic-Con when I try and talk to somebody I admire. Um, it's like, I, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, Rosa's not as comfortable. It is not fully comfortable either. She's just trying very hard for the sins of the group. Yeah. But go on. But right, yeah. So Shaw's going to lead the way in, and she is going to have a little bit of scout about and see if she can locate anything within the cathedral, but being, you know, a bit subtle about it because she doesn't want to be completely obvious that she's a thief. So, you know, she's going to wander around and be like, yes, I am worried about, you know, it's, it's yes, I, I'm here to contemplate. I'm not here to, to take things at all. Okay, okay, okay. You, 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 you enter the cathedral, which actually covers several decks. It's been hollowed out, so it actually looks like a proper cathedral on the inside. It's got the bones, you know, ossuaries, and there's like massive uh, panels in the walls filled with skulls and bones of past uh, faithful or pilgrims who died he on during this uh, journey. Mm. There's several pews. There's a couple of people scattered about praying in them. Uh, there is an altar. There's, you know, there's a book there. Uh, there is a set of candles. There is a large bell in this cathedral hanging above a uh, stained glass window looking out into, you presume, space. And there's a few priests around. One of them, like, sees you wander in, and she heads over to you go to you and goes, uh, Welcome, my child. Shaw kind of recoils slightly, because she does this when anyone new approaches her at this point. Um, if you do that, most just steps forward just bows and just like... I thought you were outside. Just... Huh? No, I'm I'm with her. Yeah, Rosa is with me. Just, okay, I will just go. Just she's leading. Just thank you, Mama. Please excuse my friend. She's a bit on the quiet side. Being completely yeah, just makes happy, just appropriate yeah. holy gestures with hands because believe her. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check your knowledge rolls. Do you actually know what the appropriate gesture <laughs> really just is? <laughs> well, I think that you know common law Imperium probably. Pe- covers, you know, the accepted religion of the Imperium, if you're <laughs> a be standard fair, believer. Yeah, to be fair, well, I, I have to say, that is probably true. If you don't, you'd be killed probably on sight as a non-believer. Do you know the common one, or do you know, like, a shift-specific one? I I just know common law. I have... Mm. <laughs> Either way, I'm still a believer. Just, I'm not a heretic. <laughs> God damn it. I believe in the Emperor. Just, just, okay. Okay. <laughs> Do a ship for one, then. Sure, somehow makes an eight-pointed star fate of chaos points. with her fingers. <laughs> fate <laughs> points, three <laughs> rolls. You a fate point before you're burned at the stake. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Both oh will help you if it goes too badly. Don't worry. 
I'm not okay with this. I am a believer. Screw you. Are you are you rerolling or not? I am rerolling. Do I get a modifier on the basis of this is a reasonable thing to modify? Yes, it's a plus twenty. Thank you. But still, you rolled a hundred. That's still a fuck up, Jess. One <laughs> hundred. Yeah, she did. She rolled a crit fail. <laughs> oh my god. So she literally would have done like, you know, accidentally signed a symbol of Slanesh in the middle of a cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> like Shah, don't flail. Never flail ever again. She just ha- she just has like her mind goes blank and just latches onto the first symbol she remembers, which happens to be from the demon city she visited in her prologue. Yeah. It's like, oh shit. No. Demons pour into the well, just like, what did you do? <laughs> like, I don't Was know what that? Okay, 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 so, okay. Stop summoning demons. <laughs> okay, Jazz, just as a quick thing, uh, because you're from a war sh- warship, yeah. uh, your version of the Aquila symbol is actually a bit like how a uh, Christian crosses, crosses themselves. Okay, fair. And did you do, you know, one shoulder, both shoulders for the wings, twice on your chest for the claws, twice on just under your neck for the heads? Exactly. I am not. For the Aquila, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what the Aquila is. Yeah. Don't I'm not no, like no, I'm just saying you know what I mean when I'm describing you essentially yeah, I... you, you cross yourself essentially. Yes. As opposed to the ne- generic acceptance of doing the shadow puppet thing. Yeah. <laughs> sure, it's slightly niche. Without hairstyle, yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah, so you, you do that. Um the priestess in front of you sort of does the traditional symbol of the Aquila and bows her head. Well, we are here to help and offer guidance should you require it. Are you also partaking in the pilgrimage? Shaw nods kind of awkwardly, um, because, yeah, everything Shaw does is kind of awkward at this point. So she's like, um, yeah, yeah, she nods and clears her throat a little uncomfortably. Well, I'm going to make a point, and she's going to play up the awkward. Like, she's uncomfortable because she's uncomfortable, but she's also going to play this up to be like, yes, I am, you know, I'm very devout, I'm very, ah, uh, I am at all that I am in this such holy place. Rose is actually feeling actually quite uncomfortable herself, keeps the look of just normal, and is just like, it just keeps glancing at you. Just slightly just. And how do you react to the question? Um, Me? Yeah, Rosa. I have already heard her say yes, so I would nod my head reverently, just slowly as well, and dignifiedly. Dignified nod. What is an undignified nod? Is that when you nod and then like do a backflip and fall over? <laughs> like. <laughs> Well, well, you can do a nod, but you can do a very slow. Muffled. Hmm. But yeah, I don't mean I jest. Um, yes, she was like, yes. Um... Uh, the the priestess smiles uh, beatifically at you and is like, "Do not worry. Many like you have been lost, but they undertake such journeys to find themselves, or indeed to, well, dedicate themselves to a greater cause. And the cathedral in Floria, that it, it's been 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 built over several generations now." But it is nearing completion, so you are indeed the most fortunate amongst the pilgrims we have carried over the years. Char again, like Char attempts to mimic the more traditional uh, sign of the uh, yeah, <laughs> sign of the Aqua, um, even though she's not like because she's like yes, okay, fucking follow, take, read this priestess, goddammit. it, like, yes, follow her lead, be be open to learning mm-hmm. and such. And so, uh, so she then plays her throat uncomfortably again, and shyly inquires if it would be all right for her and her companion just to explore this magnificent work. Uh, she nods and goes, I would be happy to show you around the... Hang on, now I need to find where the freaking thing is. Uh, the Cathedral of uh, Bea Sartifica is the ship's pride and joy. I, um, I just look at you and just give you a look as if I just... If she does, like, turn to, like, look at the ship at any one point, you know, just to, like... For, uh, you know, for effect, I just look at you and go, are you okay with her? Just like the look of just okay for her giving us the tour. Yeah, Shaw just attempts, Shaw just kind of doesn't really acknowledge Rosa at this point. She's like, I'm not going to fuck this up by making, you know, head gestures at you when I'm attempting to kind of bullshit. Um, Cause, cause Rosa's uh, very happy to talk, but she just needs to know what to do. Yeah, I was going to say, Shaw dips her head pretty much imperceptibly, but she does dip her head in response to Rosa. Uh, this priestess is dressed mainly in white, like a white gown with a hood. Uh, she has a small headband with an aquila on it, just because I realize I haven't described her. She appears to have like darkish hair somewhere tied back, blue eyes, and, you know, she smiles and happily leads the way. Um, hang on, you just thought you just said, and before before that, you just said you nodded as if to go, what, you're okay with it? Hmm. Oh, okay, right, okay, fair. 
then Rose is, Rose is trusting in with you and she follows. Yeah, Shah is going to follow this priestess and, you know, nod very appreciatively at a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, and she's sh- going to keep an eye out for her objective. Okay, in that case, roll me a perception as you are led in like a circuit around this cathedral and there's like smaller stained glass frescoes almost uh, set into the sides of the walls. Uh, Any modifier? No. Fuck's sake, Shah. You see Can nothing. I do this? Yes, you see nothing that looks like uh, holy wine. Did you say I could roll this as well? Yes, I did. Uh, okay. Mm. Can I roll tracking? Or what? What's that? Perception. <laughs> Actually, what is the tra- hang on? Tracking would be tracking what is all that? like wild animals and stuff. But I will track the perception. wine. <laughs> uh, that's just a modifier zero, right? Yep. Yes. Okay, you sniff out some wine. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> wine is his favorite territory. <laughs> Some smashed on the floor. It's fine. He's not it. Okay, as you, um, as you, as I you, just, yeah, I would actually just um like, I just stop one sec, just um like put my finger to my ear. Or just like <laughs> you're just, hearing just, the wine. No, <laughs> as if like do like I just turn my tilt my head away so I just go and just you know do the normal thing that people do if they're on the phone. Yeah, you know, the eyes start darting a little bit and go and just slight nod and just go. I, I just go. Excuse me, sister. Um, is, is this sister? Be for the uh, term for. Uh, it's actually vicar. Vicar. My rank here is vicar, yes. Yeah. Uh, she smiles. Um, uh, I will need to uh, take my leave from, uh, for one moment. Uh, do, uh, just do excuse me. She frowns, but... I just took up to my ear. So. Yeah, but she, 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 she frowns, but turns away and um, conspir- conspirationally whispers to uh, Shah, uh, I see your friend is somewhat lacking in her devotion. Shah <laughs> makes a slightly, you know, oh yeah, well, you know... <sighs> You know, she has her flaws kind of face. She's a good person, though. Um, like, just... uh, the, vicar, the vicar sort of tilts her head and goes, are, are you a mute by any chance? Or like, were you born that way, or was it that choice? Uh, Shaw clears her throat again, because she's just like, God dang it. And I'm attempting to think of things, and I'm doing badly. Um, the urge to have Shaw panic and use a thing is so, so strong. But no, I'm not going as much as she is. Oh. Like, she says, no, I'm, I'm not. I can. I can talk. I uh, I just find it difficult to be around people. Uh, she does lots of quite anxious, like, fiddling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, much like myself when I'm uncomfortable with something mm-hmm. or I'm trying to stall for words. Uh, the vicar sort of just smiles and th- does the whole thing where one hand goes around your shoulder and the other one pats your other shoulder, like sort of the comforting gesture. Mm-hmm. And she's like, there, there, you're amongst brothers and sisters now. John Odds. You are safe you. here. The she, emperor she, watches she, over all. And <laughs> just, like just as just as he does over Bea Sanctifica. While she's doing this, mm-hmm. kind of just that like, wander still doing the same, just out one out of her his shot. Sure. In, just, like, slowly, just casually, but also slightly sneakily walking towards where I detect wine. It's behind a door. Is there anyone around at all? You're in a cathedral, and there's a lot of people in the pews worshipping at the minute. There's a few priests walking around, priestesses, clerics. Seems very chill. It seems a bit like an off day. What does the door look like? Uh, as in, in comparison to the rest of the place? It's an, in, it's it's an it's... interior door. It seems to be surfaced with wood. Okay, I just do, as I do, just talk, I do just turn, just do just a general 360, just keep my eye looking outwards, but not really paying much attention. Looking like it, but I am seeing if anyone is looking at me. Um, not really. A few of the clerics cost you weird glances, like you've just randomly turned in place, like you're doing some weird dance. <laughs> but just like p- pilgrims are head. weird. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And then I do just walk through the doors if I'm expected to do so. Okay, you walk through the door. Uh, you're now in like a metal corridor. It just lacks the, sort of the fancy decorations. Okay. I obviously close the door behind me. Mm-hmm. I know if I don't say that. Like, <laughs> how have I detected this, by the way? Did I smell it? Yes. Apparently, you're a bloodhound. <laughs> I say, Jesus Christ, is these are bottles? Am I going to find a massive vat? I'm going to find a massive vat, aren't I? Okay, I ke- and I just very briskly keep walking forwards mm-hmm. while keeping my eye out for any, like, cameras or people. Cameras, how quaint. Um, hmm. Roll me another perception. Yeah, okay. Plus 10, because you have the scent now. You have to <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, Okay, uh, you reach a catwalk with a sort of spiraling staircase leading down a bit. It's, okay. a, it's a lot chillier in this room you've entered. 
Mm. I just I got to just pull my my coat around myself more and mm-hmm. descend if I if, if I thought okay. that was the way to go. Yes. Uh, as you descend, you realize you're actually next to massive, massive, uh, like steel drums laying on their side. Like you know the gas tanks they have at like gas stations. Yes. Or, yeah, or like a train depot. You know the massive, almost like a like you know the trucks that carry fuel. Those kind of massive yes, tanks, those kind of massive tanks, were in, and the strong of alcohol is very heavy. And you see like pipes and valves leading into them, running along the top of the ceiling. Uh, each of these tanks has like a small tap. Uh, well, I say small; it's actually a bit of a hefty tap with like a valve on it. And uh, there's like you see barrels being rolled over to them by various menials and uh, okay. sort of like altar boys and altar girls. And there are people around. Yeah. <sighs> right. But it's mostly all just the old... The, yeah, okay. This is like the distribution uh, part, and they're actually putting them in actual barrels and then sealing the barrels and putting them to one side. Okay. Um, Give me a sec. I'm thinking, well, I can't really just steal from the vats without it being obvious, and I can't well, just there's no steal any here. type of... There's no vats here. This is the tanks. The vats are... Pr- the tanks, though. Yeah, because I said, said there's like pipes, so there might be vats somewhere else. Yeah, because I can't take from these, and I mm. can't take from the bottles, but, uh, from the giant... I'm not carrying a sodding crate. I mean, fucking hell, I think Careless would probably give me props for doing that, but I'm not a sodding yes! crate. <laughs> Can you imagine if I did just return carrying an entire keg basically of wine? If only there were radios, I would be there in a second. I'd just, sta- I'd just throw it down and just go, love me already. <laughs> <laughs> you came back carrying a vat of wine, and you and you would be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> a vat of wine. Fuck it. Um, Okay, she decides to just to start walking down the way, keeping her head up, keeping her her expression just calm, relatively friendly, and just if anyone does look at her, mm-hmm. she just gives a small nod, just uh, keeping herself dignified as if she knows what she's doing and there, she knows where yep, she is. There appears to be uh, you see flashes of red. There seem to be tech priests wandering around here as well. Yeah, I learned from experience not to want to talk with the tech priests. <laughs> so I avoid and keep, <laughs> I keep walking. I'm just looking for some just like um. Uh, I'm trying to think agility. Could, okay, I'm trying to think what I could do apart from just mm-hmm. in small enough way I could take some mm-hmm. agility, right? Yep. Well, looks okay. Uh, you step out at a, like a junction, and you hear something rumbling towards you, and you know like those little luggage carriers you have. Yes. In airports. Those little mm-hmm. trucks, like one of those carrying like a trailer full of the barrels is just barreling at you and just clips you. Okay. Who's tra- who's leading it? It seems to be just one of the older people. I suppose I just got, I could well, let's like give her just take a point I of just, damage. Oh God. Okay. Let me take, I'll just give a small like gasp as if like, mm-hmm. also it's like hang up. I assume he stops. Uh, actually he, Kind of crashes. Oh, because he he clips you, he panics, he swerves, and he actually crashes. And like the the you, you he crashes into a stack of barrels, mm-hmm. and you okay. see you you see the whole thing just collapse in on top of him, and there's a sort of very brief scream before it's drowned out by the clanging of metal and sloshing of liquid as some of them come undone and just spill their contents everywhere. Did you just kill an altar boy? <laughs> Like, no, everyone's, like, everyone's, everyone's every, like people are kind of still going about their day, but you see a tech priest hurrying over with a servitor and like a small uh, trolley. I try run over. To, uh, is it just clear this guy has just been like covered in some things, or is he clearly just absolutely buried in? He's been crushed. <laughs> yeah. So this guy is basically dead. Yeah. Uh, as you Shit. like, sort of look over, the tech priest gets up to you, and he actually has a um, the servitor. Uh, is actually hooked onto this tech priest by some sort of tube, and the tech priest deploys a servo arm with some syringes and jabs it into the body and starts draining it. I assume this is a servitor, which is just a, it's a dumb servitor. It's not. Oh no, you said servitor attached to tech the tech priest. priest. Yeah, and you see the like the blood from this murder scene being going through the tubes into the servitor into like glass tanks it's got on its back. Shit. There seem uh, some of the um, uh, sort of the crew here have started to have like are quickly, you know, setting up the tanks, uh, setting up the barrels up straight to stop them spilling too much. It's all running through like the grilled floor. Is there any bottles that rolled near me? Uh, some of the barrels have. 
how big are these bells? Uh, they actually vary a lot in size. Some of them are like the bigger, like the big oh, oil drums. Small. Some of them are like the Asda style. Yeah. Some of some of them are carryable. Yeah. All of them can be carried if you're not a wuss. Yes, but ones that can be <laughs> carried like <laughs> not in a terrible. Yeah, ones that I could mm-hmm. fit one. I could fit one under my arm yeah. and look fairly normal with. Yep, but yeah, they're they're cleaning up very quickly. I stoop down and pick up one of the natural ones, uh, mm-hmm. one of the um, slightly larger than smallest. Mm-hmm. So uh, decent that I can still carry easily. Yep. Uh, the tech priest is like, they're just snapping everyone, going, hurry up, hurry up. The father's going to be annoyed if we lose a full batch. Uh, takes too long, too long. Uh, sort of taps, uh, like taps the tube that's sucking the blood from the corpse, going, uh, let's tidy all of this up, kind of, if anything contaminated. More blood on my and my family's hands. <sighs> So, and just turns and basically and basically walks away. She she just, just tries to to uh, away. roll me a deceive then. Uh, deceive. Ah, oh, Christ. Yeah, not going. <laughs> yeah, you're swaggering away before uh, one of the the actual tech priest sort of realizes. Uh, Hang on, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. I stop to a mound and just I just look at him and just go retrieving for the captain. The captain. I walk. Uh, I just go. I just. Yeah. What is it that? Uh, is it that? This obvious in school in his voice. Mm-hmm. I walk. Uh, I go. I just my eyes. Walk over. And I'm just like. Do I? Do I do it? Do I? I'm just thinking. Do I show him the ID? Just to think. <laughs> sold it. Because so I'm not getting out of this any other fucking way. <sighs> Are you just flashing your ID then? I, I think I would have to show him my ID. I, I, it's basically very clear that this guy could trail the death of someone to me, and that's going to cause problems I don't want. I'll just go. I just show him and just go. Mm-hmm. This was an accident. I need. Uh, uh, this was unwanted. Att- uh, this is unwanted, but attention that we can't have. He looks at your ID, and just sort of goes, "Go," and sort of just waves you off. And like busy, busy himself with cleaning up the body really quickly. And I see that as just a good enough reason. And keep, I, I actually try to walk the other way to find mm-hmm. another way out rather than the way back to the sodding cathedral. Okay, uh, you'll have to roll me survival. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, you don't have that intelligence. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you, you can't find your way out. You, and I've basically just walked myself lost now. Then yes, you said we did all have those microphone things, right? Yes. While you are having this adventure, you're gonna cut back to Shaw. Shaw, genuine believer. God damn it! Um, <laughs> so she's just like she is also, you know, actually genuinely quite happy to be like, ah, oh, yes, cathedral, and do indeed keep Madam Priestess of Priestessiness uh, not paying too much attention to the fact that Rosa has fucked off. Um, the vicar continues like showing you around. They're all sort of like images from the life of Bea Sanctifica, who seem to have been some sort of um, missionary uh, working amongst like feral tribesmen or feral worlders. Right here. Sure. Yeah, yeah, continue keeping her, her eye out very much for anything she can know whether I think it was like, you know, a cupboard that might reasonably have anything in it. Because Glass has got a store, you know, handy shit somewhere. But my main focus really uh-huh. is on just making sure that, you know, just nodding along and ensuring that this priest doesn't think too closely about the fact that her mysterious friend has, you know, mm. disappeared. Okay. Because she doesn't want that being thought about too closely. So she can do following her while I'm making, you know, appreciative noises. Can her, like, calm activate in her ear? Yes. I, I, I do, like, just whisper because I'm imagining I know where you are. Just, Sha, are you there? Can you hear me? John makes an appreciative noise. It sounds, um, you know, surprised, suspiciously like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go, um, good news or bad news? Good news. I've got some, I got it. And we're mostly scot-free. Bad news is I'm kind of, between you and me, lost. John what makes another... be able to hear this? I'm, I'm no. talking very, very quietly into her ear. I'm just like, I, I'm incredibly embarrassed that I've got myself lost. And and this is specifically at head. Char. It's not the group frequency. You don't have yes. the range. Okay. Okay. Char is going to make another slightly more serious. Mm-hmm. 
and she's going to pause and ask the priestess if it would be all right if she spent some time in, you know, quiet contemplation. She smiles, like, radiantly, clasps her hands together, makes a sign to the Aquila and bows her head and goes, of course, that is, for one, to, uh, communing with the Emperor is a very personal time. I have duties I must attend to. I need to go, uh, check with the Father about uh, today's service. Please do uh, come. I was like, what, what time? It shall be starting an hour from now. Uh, uh, the Father has elected me to lead the, uh, prayers today. Um, Char makes the sign again somewhat awkwardly. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. Everything is so awkward. Vicar and expresses her thanks and then retreats a little way. And uh, the vicar leaves you alone. And huzzah, I did not have to come up with a new name. <laughs> okay. Now, Char sort of sits down and sort of mumbles quietly into her knuckles in what could reasonably, at a distance, be mistaken for, you know, prayer and not at all talking to somebody in her ear. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but lost how? Um, I found that that's where they make the wine, the holy wine. Um, I, 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 I'll tell you the next bit later. But I have a, a barrel. I have a keg of wine. And I considered going another way, so I didn't have to go back through the cathedral. And I'm and I uh, yeah, this isn't. I thought it would be like home. <laughs> This isn't my home. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Can you, like, I don't know what your powers do. Can you find me? No, oh, it's, it's, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to come and try and find you. Um, but are there any markings on the walls? That's a good point. I look, uh, it's just basically, all right, where are you? Just like, <laughs> stuck on a motorway. Which bit which, which are you at? <laughs> I look around. Do I see any kind of markings like do, in my like, yes, floor? The, yes, the, the, the skull set into the wall has a number nine in Roman numerals painted on it. I I relay this information tentatively to you as if hoping it means something. <laughs> or at least more to you than it probably does to me. Sure, I was going to hope it means something to her. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to hope? <laughs> yes. Evaluate maybe the closest? No, they can't be closest to hope. <laughs> yeah, Jazz, why do you think you would know? I think this would reasonably, you know, echo back to maybe some shit that was written on my ship and might imply, you know, decks or some such. Well, yeah, well, num- numbering decks is common practice, but. Exactly. Can she, like, look at what deck she's at? She, like, she knows where, like, which area of a ship would be, like, area to floor. I imagine it is area and then floor. Area I, floor one. You are something. seriously underestimating how ridiculously complex Imperial ships are. Yes, which is why I'm hoping that the sodding shipborn will have slightly better understanding of how mm-hmm. this is done than I will. The sodding shipborn does. The sodding shipborn's player is shit, though. Uh, <laughs> so, damn it, Shah. Um, uh, Shah is going to make some appreciative noises. I think she's going to roll in vacation. Okay. Um, can I have modifier on the basis of I can really, really concentrate on this one and nobody's disturbing me or shooting me for once? You actually get a plus 30. You're in a church designed for this. Fuck yes. Long. I have invocated successfully. I can't remember what that does. I just know it's a good thing for me to do. <laughs> right. Well, you did some of the war. bonus your next roll or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to cast Chameleon. Right, is that... Can I roll that? By rating? Oh, cool, I can. Um... Right, yes. Uh, it's a willpower dice, please. Advanced roll. It's a plus 10 because I successfully invocated, and I roll two d10s because that's how wizards work. Shitty wizard. There we go. Boom. Fucking roll. Hey! That's a nine. Oh, dear. oh no. Joe has accidentally no. done a fuck up. Oh, oh no, fuck not so. again. <laughs> <sighs> please tell me Lucas, you Lucas, how face. far away are we how far away is the other <laughs> half of the party you're safe oh good Everyone else is safe, I may be about to bring a cathedral down on my own head oh no, oh, no the poor nameless vicar <laughs> she does actually <laughs> have a, she does have a name I just haven't told you guys it because none of you asked I would have done but I'm not there mm-hmm. alright okay so I'm rolling a d100 aren't I mm-hmm. uh, you have more fate points I do it goes hilariously wrong. Guess who's going to try and re-roll that nine? If she's allowed. Oh, I... 
Why? I'm going to re-roll that. No. Two. Okay. Um, hysterical as it is, I don't actually want to die. <laughs> Just like demons up here in the middle of the fucking cathedral, you bitch. Just yeah, like, for sake, not what again. Was, yeah. What was the effect of an 86 on that uh, roll? Roll on the perils of the warp. Yeah. It's just, it's high, it's perils. Run the fuck away. <laughs> Roll the D100, see what it would have been in an alternate universe. Um, in an AU, Shar is about to get really fucked. No, you spent the fate point, you get to two, don't worry. Uh, 57. Yes. Uh, vice versa. Your mind is thrown out of your body and into another nearby creature or person. You and a random being within 50 the years. Princess. Yeah. <laughs> That's good for you. That would have been really good for me, but never mind. No, it is good for you. Is it me? Can... So, Jazz, gain a corruption point. <laughs> Oh, what, God. even though I re-rolled? Yep. Rude. Dark foreboding. A very faint breeze blows past the Psyker and those near him. Everyone gets the eerie feeling that something unfortunate just happened somewhere in the galaxy. All of the candles in the cathedral go out. <laughs> oh, my God. But the Jedi time... are going to feel this one. <laughs> I feel a disturbance in the force. <laughs> but at the same time, that is a successful cast of Chameleon. So I am now really not very noticeable to anybody. No, nope. you're not in your own body anymore. No, she is. Oh, I am okay, in my own body. That's fine. I, I didn't really yes. roll that. That was a curiosity roll. Oh, okay. She, she got the all the candles go out, and everyone's now very scared and terrified. And there's hushed whisperings and cries of panic. And you see the vicar rushing out to start relighting the candles. Everyone looks right. really worried. Shaw scoots hastily, but, you know, while being concealed. Um, because concealment. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be stealthy. Yep. Uh, she heads for the door that Rosa went through. Roll concealment. I get a plus 30 on this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. But it's still a 19. Still got a plus 30 on it. Uh, modifier 30. Bop. Oh, thank God. Okay, you stealth over and go through the door that Rosa went through. Right, out, and I'm now... Uh, Rosa's not a null. Is there any chance that I could try and find her psychic signature somewhere as I've spent time around her? That's what I was hoping that you'd be able to do something like that. That's that's the kind of idea that I had. Could you just sense me? I think that's an like actual power, though. Is it? Uh, well, hang on. Let me let me, actually, let me double check that for you. <laughs> can I magically do this thing that I can't call, do? It? Call creature. Call item. Summon Rosa. Uh, distort vision. Dull pain. <laughs> load. Flashbang. Inflict pain. No. Knack. Lucky. Sense presence. There we go. Sense presence. Ah, uh, sense presence. Scroll, motherfucker. Left your hand. Yeah, Sense Presence, what you'd be after. In that case, then, can I sneakily have bought Sense Presence? Because I've probably got enough spoken points to have it. Or even Dowsing. Yeah, Dowsing's actually what you'd want from Divination. Ah, uh, alas. But I can't have that because thingy. Discipline. I. Why? You, you, can, you can have multiple disciplines. Yeah, but I can't have a discipline yet because I'm not Psy 3. Right. Is more what I meant. Because otherwise, you know, plans. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, then you can do a... Um, do you have enough XP to buy that? I should do it. It's a simple power. I think that's only 100. I have 200 points. Yeah, okay, my yeah, psychic, sure. psychic powers are 100. Okay. I was like, where the fuck? Okay, roll again. Um, to turn. How do I roll? It costs like any power. Roll 2d10. Get over 7. Yep. Roll. Roll. You cast it with no negative effect. Excellent. And I get overbleed. And this is a good thing this time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have an overbleed of five, which means it extends the range. So I've got a 60 meter range. Cool. 60 meters right below you, you sense a familiar presence. Right -o. You also sense something. Yeah, something. Can I roll Sinusience for that thing? Sure. Do, 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 do. Dun, dun, dun. Any modifiers? No. Rolling. Fuck's sake, Shaw. So close. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, you, you, you can't tell. Shaw pulls, you know, suspicious bean face. Can I um, whisper just like, what's, what's happening? Shaw's going to inform Rosa that you're underneath her somewhere, she thinks. I, I, go, I can go back the way I came. Can I go Char back the way going... I came? Yeah, you can. Yeah, Shaw's going to agree that you should probably start, you know, heading back the way you came and it'll oh. go upwards. I'm sorry, Jazz. That's actually... Your Sinistians does actually pick it up. Oh, cool. You get a plus 10 because you've actually felt this before. Ah. It's a gap Is in your... Is it my cat? No, it's a gap in your senses. Oh, okay. It's a null zone. Hello. 
Char picks, you know, pulls the face. Uh, but it's moving. Uh, uh, uh. Char is less pleased about this. No, it was not she doesn't like mobile now, sense. I would like I would like to point out you do have currently have a range of sixty meters in every single direction though. Yeah, that's quite a distance. I'm like, I know some shit right now. Yeah, um, you sense everyone in the cathedral. Uh the null presence is actually way at the back of the cathedral. Sure makes a mental note to check that shit out a little bit later if it's still mm. kicking around. But first she's gonna find Rosa, because if it's a bad thing, she wants a non psycho around to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a complete moron. So yeah, Char is going to, you know. Continue being nicely mm -hmm. concealed because I think that's a thing that is a thing. Do, 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 do. I know some weird shit. Um, would I need to recast Chameleon? Mm, because it's yes. stained. So, yeah, I would have broken it by doing another thing. Yes. Um, right. So, I'm as I'm, you know, walking, I'm going to invocate again. Okay. Do you need to. I don't actually know. Invocate, I don't think, sticks around. But... No, I mean, do you even need to cast Chameleon again as opposed to just walking? Uh, I can just walk, but at the same time, I'm a shifty-looking motherfucker, so I kind of prefer to be kind of unnoticeable. Actually, yeah. I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to keep walking. And I'm going to you know, sort of make a vague effort to... Well, but okay, can you remember when you first walked along this corridor, what you did... Every time I reach a fork, I'll ask Rosa, you know, okay, I've reached this point. It looks like this. Do you remember? Did you go this way or this way? I kept walking mostly in a straight line, I think, until I got a, some stairs... Okay, uh, some steps, and then I went she's down. Just really, really hope that she's walking the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, you I, go the right way. Good, good. And I went down. Uh, you'll notice she doesn't actually sound as like happy as or like she sounds slightly down. She kind talking. of understands this because she kind of felt like this a little bit when you know she's not in a ship. <laughs> she's like, okay, yeah. We you don't know why, Rosa. Give me a perception. <laughs> You hear faint scratching and scurrying in the distance. Have you gone down the steps yet? I'm presumably, yes, I'm descending the stairs. I step to the side and then just try just try to more well, blend in as much okay. as I can. Okay, me concealment. Okay. That moment where we're hiding from each other. Uh, Shah, you actually managed to walk down into where all the sort of like the tanks and barrels are and people are still running around being active. I was like, huh, neat stuff. Ah, I failed. Okay, yeah, you just press your things to the wall and pray. Mm -hmm. And keep my eyes open. Mm -hmm. That still works. Right, so Shaw is, is going to, you know, noticing that Rosa seems to have gone a little bit quiet and seems a bit off. Do um, remember that she is relatively recognizable since she's wearing a red coat. Yeah. <laughs> she's not a subtle individual, whereas Shaw at least not looks like a shipwreck. You hear a trundling <laughs> wheels, Rosa. I just cringe and just I, I, I think the fact that I can't think of what to say off the top of my head is probably a good thing and she just she, she's not entirely sure sure no it's just this quietness and sort of she's like uh, she's Rosa like, you're still there um um she, she, she keeps to herself and she doesn't really come up with anything to do when she hears the rolling she can't think of anything off the top of her she's slightly been off yep. you see a familiar figure is it a tech priest again? Yeah, it's a tech priest behind them. Is the servitor behind them? Is the trolley uh, rolling on its own with a tarpaulin covering several misshapen lumps on it? He's muttering under his breath. Go for the tarpaulin. Has he noticed me yet? <laughs> no. Then I do my absolute bit. I just, I, I just, God, I just, oh, it's no one, yeah, yeah. So, and then just try to just slightly shuffle away. Very, very slow, slowly, and just hope he doesn't notice me again. Concealment. I have a 30 for this. I should be getting this. No. Okay. He wanders up, uh, just nods at you, and walks right by. <laughs> <laughs> I just look down at the tarpaulin, and then just... It stinks. a shiver. Yeah. Yeah, I give a shiver and just close my eyes. As, oh, God. By the way, the, the glass tanks on the servitor's backs are now full of red liquid. Kind of put, put my hand to my mouth as if to just like, yeah, I might have been used to this mm -hmm. with people that I know, but when it's clearly an innocent, yeah, I, I, yeah, okay, just I, I just stand there trying and to deal, uh, and he he heads off into the darkness. <laughs> she, she's just standing there, <laughs> try, thinking, just try, thinking. Uh, after a while, Shah reaches you. Like Rosa, <laughs> just snaps out, just looks up, and just looks at you, just uh, oh. Wait. Oh, um, 
Yes, thank you. You all right, Rosa? Um, you look a bit... She sort of gestures at her face awkwardly, but she's she, trying to be concerned. Yeah, she takes a sigh and just... I don't know how to say. Um, don't worry. I, I, sure I, not. I have, she, I, she sort I, of, I have this, and I just... She interrupts. She's like, it's fine. Don't, don't, don't worry. I, I get it. It's fine. Um, before I, I do raise the wine, though. And just go, I, I did get this, this, though. Sure, Grace is you with actually a fairly rare smile. Um, it's fairly obvious she doesn't do it very often. Uh, how how well is Shah going to be able to find her way out of this particular little corner of nurse? Now that Please she's... say we don't both get lost, <laughs> and then we have to call someone else. This is gone forever. Lucas, yeah, I think. Um, am I rolling to navigate Shah, uh, Shah and Rosa out of this? Yep. What am I rolling? Intelligence, I believe. Intelligence. When my browser stops lagging again. Do you want to use a fade point to get a plus ten? I don't know because my browser is not responding. Give me a minute. <laughs> um, Please get us out of here. I I would like to. I dearly <laughs> would, but my entire browser has frozen. Oh, sure. He's going to sort of sympathetically pat Rosa on the arm. She doesn't really know how to comfort people, so it kind of comes off as like super stalled and a bit like I don't know, but it's what I do when my tire is upset. So she she, she just turns to you just and does give you just a small just. What's the opposite of sympathetic? It's like, like accepting or just smile back. So thanks. Yeah, yeah. Shaw does initially recoil like she's expecting you to swat her for doing this. You get like an, an genuine, just like her normal, like up, you know, just lofty attitude is gone. It's more of a normal person has just looked to you and just gone back. Thanks. Sure, I appreciate. <laughs> I told you if somebody could roll my intelligence for me, that would be. I great. could do this. What, what you, do you could need? roll this. I don't know. I just need my intelligence rolled, and I can't tell you what it is because I can't get my browser to scroll. 36. Shall I have that for you, FR? Uh, yes, please. Uh, modifier zero? Yep. Uh, 1.3 negative. So, yeah, fail. Okay. You spend, you spend the next hours wandering around before you finally stumble across someone who takes pity on your lost asses <laughs> and guides you out into one of the main thoroughfares. They're like fucking pilgrims, always wondering where they shouldn't be, and grumbly like kicks you out. All right, Joe, Shaw makes apologetic faces and, you know, does the devout thing again. Moses does not give a shit. It's just, it's just tough. He does, however, <laughs> he does, however, like, require a bribe. Uh, Shaw is... Oh, fuck. I swear to fucking God. Uh, hang on, I am just reopening my PDF because I have had a thought. Da 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 da. da. Will this work? To Can not, I make this to work? not tell anyone you've stolen sacrificial wine. I'll just, well, we could just also just we we could just do the same trick again, but unfortunately, that is not something you want to do enough times. With so forget get me. Off. Yes. Can I make somebody forget Rosa? You need to overbleed by five. It's unlikely, is it? She only needs a uh, six to cast it, and she's got two D10, and you used to get an 11. Huh. Oh my god, I can roll again. Hallelujah. Oh. Right, Shara is going to invocate like a motherfucker, because she really wants this to work. Mm -hmm. Roll. Fuck's sake, Shara, you suck. So she's going to roll this. She does badly. Oh. She, she does the, nothing. Yep, the, the stress of having been somewhat surprisingly lost has clearly thrown her ability to do some shit. So she's like, I, well... Um, I turn, just clearly not very happy. I put, I just reach in my pocket, give over like. Sharp stops the, this. The equivalent. Uh? Sharp holds up her hand. Sharp's like, no, no, no. Sharp produces a small wedge of cheese from her pocket, <laughs> <laughs> in foil, so you cannot see what it is. Just that it may or may not be cheese. <laughs> and Hang a on. necklace that she stole. I have these in my inventory. Fuck you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, I told you how to pick one. I'm sorry. Pick one. Uh. Both are worth his while. <laughs> what? Uh, well, one item per person. So. She sort of pulls me a face, and she's like, "Roll trade. Roll trade to convince them of their worth." You're get trading wine for <laughs> cheese. Right, hang on. Uh, I'm going to use a fate point to plus one this motherfucker as well. Or plus okay. ten this motherfucker even, sorry. I, I'd Why rather did... enjoy the fact that you, you've taken a stolen necklace and you're using it to obtain stolen wine. 
and stolen cheese as well. <laughs> where, where to be fuck? fair, she uses she uses stolen date to attain a cat. So. Yeah. Jazz, we've, yeah. been, we've been like this for, for so long, I've forgotten. Where'd you get the salt, the fruit, and the tea <laughs> set? The fruit is technically already eaten, thank you, Jazz. You have the basket. <laughs> Dang it, okay. The fruit basket. Yeah, I'll take the fruit out. That does need to go. <laughs> Other shit I stole from people or Caddis was beating people up in the arena. <laughs> right, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I wrote all that shit down. The necklace is even fucking further back. But righto, so plus ten. Roll. Yay! Okay, you convince him to take one of the items. Fuck yes. He'll take the necklace. Righty-ho. Delete, delete, delete. That's my inventory. That was the important one. <laughs> Let's go. It's just yeah, go. and then Shah goes. So we go, we go back to the place. Yes, you managed to get back to the place. It's now the equivalent of late... It's been like three hours now. So in the meantime, what have Anya, Sylvia, and Kate has been doing? Anya is now actually asleep. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> have you two just been drinking from the flask this whole time? Pretty much. Three hours is kind of pushing it, but roll me another carouse. Well, no, okay, this would also be just generally working out. She, like, she, you know, she needs to keep herself limber. Mm, okay. Uh, <laughs> still, <laughs> roll, roll me the carouse tests, you two. Um, I'm assuming the, wet, the room is going to smell a little bit of this. Oh, Brandy, sorry, I've still got, yes. um, right. got the okay. wrong, wrong character's carouse in front of oh, me. Oh, shit. Um, did you add your plus ten? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Cadis is now cheerfully drunk <laughs> let me look up what the drunk rules are if there are any oh god they're both drunk oh no i'm worse uh -oh. drunk than you are oh good god <laughs> there are two ways i could play this there are two ways oh, no. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll the dice um oh, no, no. straight t100 uh, drugs and consumables you are very lucky um, <laughs> I rolled the right side of 100 for that. Um, oh, God, what's the option? I'll explain later. Um, <laughs> Is it something Cadis would punch you for? Probably. Cool. Uh, oh, so no. Cadis is a happy drunk. She's going to try and teach you how to fight. Oh, oh God. Yes. <laughs> oh, I in like a very this. drunken manner. Yes. Obviously, without weapons, she's just going to teach you, like, stances and stuff. But, Can yeah. I roll to see if Anya wakes up and gets the fuck out of the way? Yes. <laughs> What about the roll? Do you can, can, can I basically? Can, I, can you oh, go? We're, we're, we're going to practice unarmed fighting. At which point, I draw my gun. And then you, you try and try and force it back down again. Oh God! Yeah, no, unarmed fighting. Uh, 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 fine, fine, fine. Do oh, I'm out of the way. <laughs> now, <laughs> you you wake up and you just see them like in like stances in the middle of the apartment, yeah. and you're like, ah, yeah. oh, shit. Tough agility, not toughness. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go into the bedroom. Yeah. So uh, I'm probably going to leave my gun in the corner. Okay. So are we both getting minuses to this because we're drunk? Um, both of you just roll me a strength. It'll be easier this way. Yeah, I'm going to lose this so badly. No, no, um, I, I might do shit. I did shit. If I beat you, I'm going to laugh so hard right now because uh, my yeah, strength is 29. Yeah, mine's 42. No, oh, you failed more. <laughs> yeah. I crit failed. Yes. I got so you're basically stumbling over. Hang on, hang on, hang yes. on, hang on. I'm going to use a fate point. <laughs> I'm gonna... No, no, that's not how this shit works. Yes, <laughs> exactly <laughs> how it works. Exactly I, um, how it works. God damn I have two fate points. I'm, I'm perfectly entitled to do this twice. There are uh, a lot of fate points up in the air tonight. You still failed worse than me. Fuck okay, you. basically, you, you, you both take a swing at each other. You both smack each other in the face, and you both knock yourselves out. Hey. And you just slump to the floor <laughs> unconscious. So, Can Shah, I be laughing because I do it? No, you're unconscious. Shah, Rosa, you come back to the room you're all renting for this voyage, and you see Cadis and Sylvie sort of passed out in the heap in the middle of the floor. Uh, Anya's gun in the corner, and Anya is missing. <laughs> <laughs> do we try <laughs> Now you think you're thinking that Anya is not just unconscious and they're taking a car and not a run. Sounds like, well. Um, honestly, that would, in fact, probably be what our mind would automatically assume. <laughs> yes, I love it. I so just cool. just look at Shaw and just go, are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? <laughs> that we get oh, all of this I... tech to ourselves? 
Can I roll to see if I hear them coming back in? Yes. Perception. With a plus 20, because they're not being stealthy. Uh, could I use awareness for this? Yes. You could better do this well. Yes. <laughs> I'd say. Yes. Well, I'm probably going to yes. asleep again. Yeah, you're, you're you're comfortably asleep. However, you guys do probably you guys roll awareness, Rosa and Shaw. Yeah, I'm getting there. Oh, magical scrolling. Where's the awareness? There we are. Beep. Oh dear. You do not hear the snoring in the other room. Shaw is very focused apparently on the keg and hear... or the people unconscious in the middle. Do, do I hear? So I hear that. Yes, you do. You do hear the snoring in the other room. I take a step forward. Why on, on the t- presumably in the table in the middle, quickly check to see what the snoring is. Anya's on There's her bunk. There's a bear in the other room. <laughs> I consider probably whether it's worth putting a knife to your throat and assume that you were the one who did this. But at the moment, Rosa can't give a shit. She turns around, just looks at Sean and goes, do you want to drink this? Sean sort of hesitates, but she's not really sure. But then she's like, you're okay, a little bit. And does the awkward little bit symbol with her hand. Cool. So she gets two mm-hmm. glasses, just curl, curls up on the side like a sofa next to you, and slowly sips, uh, slips some wine. Some it's, a, wine. it's a very rich and fragrant wine. Uh, it tastes a little bit watered down, and it's got a weird coppery aftertaste. Yeah, it just sips. Yep. It's not quite the vintages you're used to. It's obviously, you know, because they make it on Starship, so it's weird. She really doesn't give a shit right now. <laughs> yeah. Shaw spends most of her time kind of just smelling it rather than drinking it. Mm-hmm. But I said, it, I said, it, it's got it's got a nice fragrance, very flowery. But it's also can I roll awareness on identifying the finer notes of the taste because I know what. Oh this my is. god! Yes. <laughs> but Te- I want to know whether Shaw knows. Technically, this would be carouse, but short sure, awareness. Uh, any modifier? Nope. Yeah, like when you drink it, it tastes like the few times when you used to get beaten up and then you'd swig alcohol after, and you'd still be bleeding. This is why Shaw only drinks a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Shaw puts her glass down, and assumingly Rosa is giving her quite an inquiring look at this point. Oh, I was going, oh, well, she was about to, like, raise a glass, just to just go. No, no, Shaw. you drank it. Yeah. You drank it. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've drunk this. Shaw okay. has drunk, the, you know, she's drunk the small amount that she was poured, because she did specify mm-hmm. she only wanted a little bit, because she's a wizard, yeah. and therefore she should not drink large amounts, because bad thing happens when you have drunk psychers. Okay. Um, I frowned upon yeah, to keep frown. the psychopist. <laughs> um, and she looks at Rosa like, what? You, what? <laughs> you, you, what? Did you just say, take a sip a tiny bit and then just put it down? Or did you actually No, she was give... drunk. Like, presumably, like, if you've got a glass, um, normally with wine, you'd pour, like, a fairly full glass. Um, Charles would have said, you know, like, pour me, like, two fingers worth. Um, so it would have been a much, much smaller glass. And she will have drunk that um, oh, okay. and then put the empty glass down. Oh, okay. That's just, just, all right, fine. I'm just like, she, she actually just turns to him and just wants to say, just like, there was a guy, there was a boy down there. Charlie just sort of looks at the keg and he's like, we just indulged in some casual cannibalism. Are you okay with this? <laughs> what? Wait, what? No, we see comment. I was like, yeah, there would have been. There's always one. It's like just, that. Just bounds and just like, Anyway, <laughs> Char just goes, Welcome to Starships. Rosa had something on her mind. She just mm-hmm. didn't really get yeah. what I meant. R- Rosa and her young boys again. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Rosa. Oh, if you say that to her face right now. <laughs> oh, so fucking hell. Start. He's just wasted it. She just goes. She wouldn't know. Yeah. No, I know. No, not Sylvie. Freaking Char wouldn't know. No, she's about to tell her. There was a kid just down there, barely older than what? 10? Yeah. With a cart. With that wine on it. Stepped Shots. out into the middle of a corridor. He bashes into me, careers into a wall, and dies from crushing under many bottles of alcohol. Sure, just kind of nods. But yeah, I'm guessing they just cleaned it up, right? By sucking its blood out into just tanks, yeah. Just kind of just curls up a little bit more and just goes just like... I'm more unused to the innocent deaths more than the ones I've considered justified. Shaw kind of pauses awkwardly for a minute, and then she's just like, another glass then? Not slightly to you. <laughs> Shaw pours another glass for Rosa, but doesn't pour another one for herself. But she doesn't have to lie, she pours herself another two fingers. Picks up, just like offers, just like to play his glass to you, just like, 
for what I suppose is a successful venture. To the Imperium. She blinks at glass with her To the Imperium. <laughs> uh, she smiles a bit yep. of that and just swings. Georgie, roll me a willpower. What? Please wake the fuck up. Roll me a willpower, Georgie. <laughs> Me? Yes. Okay. Because uh... your ship is the ship's currently going through the warp. Oh shit! Do I need to do this? Oh no, no. Okay. Shit. You okay? So while this heartwarming bonding session goes, Cadis, welcome to forty k. It's normal. <laughs> it's sacrificial <laughs> wine. Anyway. Yep. Um, but it's... Rosa doesn't get this yet. Yeah. Obviously. To be fair, you're from a hive world. They make, like, ration packs out of people in those. So... Are they aware of that as much? Oh, dear. What's happening? Anyway, Cadis, you are having a nightmare. Oh, Christ. Oh. You, you, you're trapped in the dark, and you're being constantly flayed apart by this angry man with, like, sharpened talons and blades and knives for fingers. You recognize him from the dark beneath your world. And he keeps screaming as he try as he keeps tearing away at you, going, "Why, why, why, why?" Oh shit! Um, yeah, Cadence is most likely just rolling about like you know you in terror so- and just you are yeah. somewhat like yeah to, to to everyone else like well Rosa and Shah, you are sort of just shifting a little bit and got like a you know cold sweat and distressed look on your face. Yeah. Shaw sure is aware of warp travel and mm-hmm. shite, obviously. Can she roll Sinusius having uh, Sinusius having noticed that Cadis seems to be in some kind of distress? I don't see Rosa a roll for Sinusius. Most would react separate, differently to this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was that a yes roll for it? Sorry. Yeah, roll for it. Any modifiers? Um, hmm, probably a plus ten. Fuck's sake, Shaw. Nope, this n- nothing out, nothing blatant is happening here. It's not like she's being attacked or there's any psychic power at work. Hmm. Uh, G, roll me a willpower again. Okay, uh, you wake up and you take an insanity point. Oh, yay! <laughs> Just what I always wanted. <laughs> Can I wake up screaming? Uh, well, as literally just before you wake up, you see him, like, literally, like, raise his claws as if he's about to take your head off, and a gauntleted fist grabs his wrist, and then you wake up. Do I screaming. recognize gaunt- gauntleted fist? No. It that literally just see a gauntleted fist. That's it. No other description of it. Okay. And you wake up screaming. Yep. Rosa just jumps up and runs over to you, just in, in somewhat shock and concern. Charles is just kind of hyperventilating a bit. Can I can I make an awareness check to see if that wakes me up? Screaming. You, you all oh, wake yeah. up. You all wake up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, just kind of please. And you're still asleep. <laughs> I said you wake up, but you're like, you wake up, you hear screaming, and you just go back she to says, sleep. She is in the next room. Yeah, you wake up, don't oh, worry. How good are those doors? <laughs> Apparently very. Uh, and you will vaguely sort of shuffle through and just look, mm-hmm. trying to find out what the fuck is happening. Silver's going to grab her gun when she starts hearing screaming. Yeah, is, you, are you okay? She's just, like, like muttering to herself and hyperventilating, like, in just, like, the words, moonlight, that wants to cause... And just muttering words, incoherent words, and stuff like that. She hugs you. She calms a little bit, but is still just type keeps He's he's still alive. He's still alive. He's going to be still alive. He, it wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. He, he's still out there somewhere. He's got to be still out there somewhere. It's okay. It's okay. You're back with us now. It's okay. No. I don't think they're safe. There? I, 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 don't, I don't think my world is safe. The Dark Heresy role-playing game is copyright of Fancy Flight Games and Games Workshop. Warhammer 40,000 and its associated trademarks are all property of Games Workshop. Opening and ending themes were created by Evolutioneer of Fiverr.com. This has been the Triton Gambit, a Dark Heresy fan production.